So today on Two Crazy Ketos... We'll be reviewing a cat. No, we're not. We're reviewing <laughs> Alterna Sweets. And we'll start this review right, right after, after this. this. Hey, what's up, family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. If you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like product reviews. We do recipe videos. We talk about various keto topics. And then once a week, we sit down on the couch for Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us on different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we also have a website, which is TwoCrazyKetos.com. And that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now, we do upload at least five new videos every single week. So make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon. And that way, every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. I think it's time to get rid of the cat. Yes. Miss Charity... Miss Charity, excuse me, ma'am. You're actually part of our cat relocation program, and we're going to be relocating you to a new area of the room. Let's come on, Charity. Say bye. 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 Well, we're too crazy, Ketos. We could keep going with the video, don't you Charity. think? Get down. We have too many animals. We are attempting to give Noah a run for his money. And we're going to be adding to it because I'm getting chickens. You are not getting chickens. I am chickens. getting chickens. I actually stopped yesterday when I was down in Cooper City and they didn't have any. But I did stop the luck. <sighs> Thank goodness. Let's talk about the alternative suites. Yes, we can do that. So while we were out at KetoCon, uh, we got to meet up with Jared, who is the owner and creator of Alterna Suites. The whole family is so nice. Yeah, they're oh my super goodness. awesome. And they've recently reformulated um, the Alterna Suites. We've tried it before. It's delicious. It was always delicious. Yep. But it used to have more carbs in it. Yeah. So let's go ahead and uh, roll the footage of us talking to Jared. Okay. Guys, I am here with Jared, who is the owner and the creator with him and his wife of Alterna Suites. And this stuff is awesome, and they just reformulated it because, I mean, I had gotten it, like, about a year ago in a keto crate, and it was really good, but it had, like, four net carbs. Well, they've reformulated it, and I'm going to let Jared tell you a little bit about it. Yeah, so we did a reformulation of the Sweet and Smoky Original Barbecue Sauce, so it's at a four net uh, carbs for two tablespoons. It's two net carbs for two tablespoons, so it's, it's cut in half now, same flavor. Um, we think it's even better than the old, old formula. So, and then of course we have our uh, spicy tomato ketchup. This um, stuff's amazing. Yep, one net car per tablespoon. Uh, yeah, this is super popular. Also, people love love this on meatloaf, making pizza sauces out of it. So, pretty exciting product. The barbecue sauce is so good, Jared. And Rachel does not like pulled pork and does not like barbecue sauce. And oh she gosh. was over here sneaking that yeah. constantly oh, yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> like, it's gonna stuff. change stuff in our yeah. house. So Absolutely. you have a couple bottles you're going to let us give away yeah, on the channel? Yeah. So let's uh, give away a uh, you know spicy tomato ketchup to you. Okay. Yeah, and then the new formulated uh, two gram net carb just released about a month ago, uh, sweet smoky barbecue sauce. Okay guys, so watch, awesome. we're going to do a separate video just giving this away and going over all the macros and we'll show you on there how you can win this. So, Jared, All right. thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Thank you. So, isn't that awesome? We have a giveaway. And this is one you don't want to miss because this stuff is straight up delicious. Yeah, it is awesome. And again, like Rachel said, their whole family, are they're just like super hardworking. I mean, they're doing it all. They're driving the truck to get it from the bottling plant. They're doing the labels. They're doing the shipping. They're, I mean, they're doing it all. I think their 14-year-old son is like their warehouse manager and he's like homeschooling to like help the family business. I mean, it's just amazing but it's not just that they are great amazing people that we just loved getting a chance to meet um, they're also serving up a fantastic yeah, product. Like, this stuff is amazing. This is like nothing else that I've tasted. Right. What about you? Oh, no. I mean, I've tried a lot of the different barbecue sauces out there that yeah. are like keto friendly. Yeah. I mean, even like the G Hughes, which is one that a lot of people use. And mm -hmm. I, yeah, I know it is 
like the most easily available. A lot of Walmarts carry it, but yep. to me, it is kind of chemically. You know, yeah. I, I just I'm. It's not even the Sukla roast that bothers me. It just has a little bit of a chemical taste, and this stuff this tastes does awesome. Does not. And if you're a person who doesn't like stevia, you don't even taste the stevia in this. No, because you know I I can be a little dicey with the stevia, and and this is no problem for me. It's delicious. So we're not gonna taste this because we did taste it out at. Um, when we were in KetoCon, Dang and it. we're in the middle of our Keto Child Challenge, so we can't. I figure we could get away with it, but we're not going to. We're not going to cheat at all. I mean, Chris didn't have the macadamia nuts, so. I know. We're I'm not so proud of them. Okay, but I did want to kind of, we'll put it through our five strengths, but let's go over all the nutrition and stuff, everything first. Okay. So I have the spicy tomato ketchup here. Which is apparently like one of their best best I sellers. love this one. They have a regular tomato ketchup as well, but I'm going to just go over to spicy tomato ketchup because that's what he gave us to give away. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have here, so the ingredients in this are tomato paste water, white distilled vinegar, non-GMO erythritol, jalapeno peppers, sea salt spices, onion paprika, stevia extract, garlic. Okay, and it says refrigerate after opening. So the nutrition facts on this are zero grams of fat, Zero grams of protein, two total carbohydrates, one gram of sugar, alcohol. So it's you one net carb. You are wearing your glasses like a dad. I'm like old. Getting like the kids in trouble or Santa. Well, I can't read it without my glasses. So, so that is the spicy tomato ketchup. You want me to read this one? Okay, go ahead and read that one. So this one is the barbecue sauce and this stuff was what he had in a big batch of pulled pork that was so amazing and rachel doesn't even delicious. like pulled pork. it was so good okay so ingredients ingredients are water tomato paste black strap molasses white distilled vinegar non-gmo erythritol natural sweetener butter which is just made up of cream and milk salt sea salt natural liquid smoke Spices, natural flavors, onions, paprika, garlic, stevia extract, and red chili peppers. And you're looking at a serving size of two tablespoons. Um, there is one gram of fat, one gram of protein, five total carbohydrates, but then you have uh, one dietary fiber and two sugar alcohols for a total of two net carbs per okay. serving. So like we said, he did recently reformulate this. Gotta leave it back here so it's in the shop. Mm -hmm. So I happen to have a bottle of the original stuff. Because we have tasted which this. Which we have had this before, and we really liked this. Like, I think we got it in a keto crate. Yeah. I never bought it. It was very And tasty. the reason I never bought it is because I kind of felt like the carbs were a little bit high. So I just wanted to kind of compare what this one is compared to the other one. So th this has got water, tomato paste, blackstrap molasses, distilled vinegar, erythritol, um, natural sweeteners, butter, do you have that? Uh -huh. Sea salt, natural liquid smoke, spices, natural flavors, onions, paprika, garlic, stevia, red chili peppers. Anything I miss? Same thing, although I'm already seeing that there's 25 calories per serving on that, 20 calories per serving on this. Okay, well the difference here is, see, you have one gram of fat, mm -hmm. one gram of protein, seven total carbohydrates. Ooh. Versus five. Versus five. To start. Okay, so this had one gram of fiber, mm -hmm. three total sugars. Uh-huh. Is that what you had? No, two. Two? Okay, so that one's got a little bit less sugar and two sugar alcohols. Wow. So that's what it is, is he's reducing some of the other stuff. Oh, wait, stuff. no, total sugar, it says one gram and then two sugar alcohols. So that's what it is, is they've reduced the total sugars. Yeah, which is great. That's great news And for us. I actually think the new one tastes better than the old one. I do too. Yeah. I really do. I, there's nothing missing. It's delicious. So you want to put this through our five things? Five things. Five things. We're going to do this a little different. We're going to do Alterna Sweets five things, okay? We're yeah. going to do them both at the same time, mm -hmm. okay? So... If you are new to our channel, we review all things based on five things. We talk about the ingredients, uh, does a keto based on the nutrition label, how does it taste, how much does it cost, and finally, would we recommend it? Mm -hmm. Okay, so number one, the ingredients. The ingredients in this are really good. They're Very solid nice. ingredients. I mean, you know, somebody may say something about like the blackstrap molasses. I was just thinking that. Um, but you obviously have very little bit in here. It's not very high in sugar. So... It's, Overall, it's got very good ingredients. I feel better using that sort of thing. I mean, I know I've seen things like Walden Farms yeah. that like kind of claim, you know, they have like no carbs in it, oh but my it's gosh. so chemically. I can't even, Rachel brought that home once and I took it, one taste of it and I'm like, I don't care if this is zero carb yeah. and it's the only option. I was like, it's disgusting. It's like, who wants to eat I felt like I was eating chemicals. Yeah. Yeah. 
So uh, number two, does it keto based on a nutrition label? Yes, I'm happy to say. Especially and the new formulation. Exactly. For us total carb folk, yep. like this is much better. This is like totally worth adding to my barbecue. Yeah. So definitely, t- definitely keto is based on a nutrition label. Both the tomato ketchup and the barbecue sauce. So number three, how does it taste? Delicious. It tastes awesome. I wish we could taste it right now just because I want to... I want to drink a bottle of it. I mean, it's that good. And if you um, have tasted it before in your keto crate and just haven't bought any since then, I'm telling you, it is, I think it's better. Well, they we did get a bottle of the new formulation. I think it was last month's keto crate, but we hadn't even cracked it open yet no. because we were um, we were in the cut down the keto con and all that other stuff. So yeah. we never even got a chance to crack it open. Literally the first time we tried the new formulation was going out to KetoCon. Do you know what that means? What? We've got another bottle. We've got another bottle. I just got happy. <clears throat> it's a number four. How much does it cost? All right, here we go. Okay, so if you go to their website, um, about one bottle, either flavor, either this or the regular ketchup, is $10.50. Okay. If you buy two bottles, you get free shipping. I like that. And then also they have a subscription service where you can choose and have it mailed every so often, and then it's nine ninety five a bottle. All right, that's right. And better. they did give us a coupon code. It's two crazy ketos, and that will get you another five percent off. Okay. So, so now ten dollars a bottle for barbecue sauce or ketchup seems like a lot, honestly. Like if okay. you're used to purchasing craft or, you know, what are some of the other ones? Like Cattleman's Ranch or oh, something. Oh, yeah, all the different Like, all ones. those things. You know, but we barbecue differently now that we are on keto, right? Before, yep. when you had barbecue sauce, it was like... <laughs> like, g- 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 like, all of it. Now, I mean, with salad dressing and everything, we measure stuff out. So, right. so this thing is actually going to give me 12 servings. Right. Not going to have, like, one serving. Like, before... And, and honestly, you to me, especially, one you, you don't need a lot. I mean, no. unless you're doing, like, a pulled pork where you want to just douse it, you don't need a lot. But I do have some good news for you. If you are somebody like us and you do a lot of barbecuing... Yes. They have a 64-ounce bottle size. Oh, my gosh. And it's a significant saving. All right. Like how so, much like, that? this bottle is 30 13 ounces or 13 right. and a half ounces and it's ten dollars fifty cents the 64 ounce bottle 36 dollars oh my gracious that's like almost half price yeah right you could put like a pump on that just <laughs> give me forget a pump i want a straw yeah <laughs> so number five would we recommend it definitely absolutely recommend it Feel now really that good. they have reformulated this i am making this like a regular like staple in our house we can actually like budget this Within our macros. Yep. Like, I like that. Yep. So, let's talk about the giveaway. All right. Let's do this. So, we have two bottles here we're going to give away. So, this is worth $21 mm-hmm. plus the shipping, which we're going to take care of. Yep. Um, we're going to do the same thing that we always do. Yeah. So absolutely. So, what we're going to do is, number one, you have to be subscribed to our channel. And you have to hit the thumbs up. Right. You have to leave a comment of some sort. Yeah, because we're going to pick from the comments. Maybe write in your, like, your comment, like, what is your favorite thing to put barbecue sauce on? Right. But it's not required. Just, yeah, just, no. Anybody who comments down below, unless you actually write, I don't want the barbecue sauce, is going to be entered into the giveaway. But I like seeing what people like to yes, put barbecue definitely. sauce on. definitely. Let us know down there, like, what are you going to put it on? Like, what's your favorite barbecue? That's what I want to know. What's yeah. your favorite barbecue? Rachel just discovered beef ribs. Like, yes. the beef short ribs, right? The big... That big giant rib. Why is it called the short rib? I don't know. I also enjoy butt. Pork butt. You actually never enjoyed pork butt because that's pulled pork until you tasted this stuff. Yeah. Adding then you were me. like, okay, now I like it. Really nice. So, so. so now, oh, one thing. You do have to live within the continental United States. Yes, right? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. But and just, and there's a full list of all the rules down below. Okay. Okay. So how about we will do the drawing next Friday. We'll do it on video next Friday. Okay. I'll put the date right here because I don't know the date off the top of my head. Does that sound good? That sounds excellent. Okay. So that is our video for today. Again, let us know down in the comments section like what kind of barbecue you like, what you would put this on. Maybe a burger. How about a barbecue Ooh, burger? Remember yes. the old... Burger King Bullseye Barbecue Burgers. Yes. They had those when I was in college. That was like my favorite thing when they came out. I was eating them like every day. Well, That's why I was 285 pounds. Right. Well, is the McRib back for you, sir? Oh, yeah. Especially now that we've made those ribs. We've perfected the ribs where we can pull the bone out. Yeah. As soon something, as we're off a of keto chow, we're making ribs. Something to master, right? <laughs> Pulling bones out of meat. 
So again, that is our video for today. If you like what you saw, do us a favor, hit that like button down below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the little bell icon and that way every single time we upload a new video, you'll be alerted to it. Until next time. Bye. Bye.